representing the hosting institution, if you like. First, we have an introduction by the um, director of the Museum Ludwig in Koblenz, and from Professor Dr. Beate Greifenscheid. Then we will hear a conversation between Kimenezza uh, and myself, and then there's an opportunity for questions from the audience. Liebe Studierende und liebe Gäste des heutigen Abends, ich freue mich sehr, dass wir die Chance haben, Kirmanessa Amoros hier heute Abend. Kirmanessa Amoros ist deshalb so spannend, weil sie ähm, anders als Künstler, die klassischerweise arbeiten, also ich rede davon von der klassischen Malerei oder klassischen Bildhauerei oder vielleicht auch der Fotografie, ganz anders arbeitet. Sie arbeitet mittlerweile seit über 16 Jahren hauptsächlich mit Licht, mit Lichtskulpturen, mit Lichtinstallationen. Up to you now, Thank you for the wonderful introduction and uh, for the opportunity uh, to be here. What you're going to be seeing is the uh, how do I work with, for example, with a gallery with a museum, with a corporation, with a foundation, and public work. Using it to build their boats, their houses, their watchtower, and the islands itself. This is how I collaborate in Israel. For me, the first time that I mix animation with real footage. The lighting, the, as you saw, there are hundreds of lighting. So I before about the uh, motherboards and that they all have to be done especially so this way I would be able to control each of the lines. <laughs> the which itself seems that like it was breathing with the force of this encounter of these waters occupying physically the space as I was mentioned before. Germany in Europe and when it's happening you know, globally. Uh, do you feel a responsibility towards the people who experience your art? The viewer is extremely important for me. There is so much time involved in doing something that truly is going to be communicated with the space and has some meaning and a reason to do it. Well, what do you call it virtual or um, ephemeral side? Which one is more important? You can catch light, you know, it, it's goes, but at the same time, what I do is I create this physicality with these sculptures, so this artistic encapsulates and it becomes a vehicle for me to be able to share with my viewer the light. In terms of kind of artistic parents or so, uh, we were specifically thinking of people like Marcel Duchamp or so, who kind of changed uh, you broke with the art away from kind of retinal art to kind of more conceptual. Specifically art. for me not to follow that path and create my own language. The lighting sequence is inspired by the turbulence of the waters of the Rhine. Peru to other countries. But it's time for you to move. And in a week I end up in New York City with my two little bags full of trims. Not necessarily based on feelings, because if I make a feeling, the feeling becomes all, it passes. Like I guess we talk about being hungry, being passionate. Every single installation for me is like the first time I have ever done one. Well, in other words, it could be intuitive, because if there's one side that needs to be very organized and, and uh, thoughtful and planning, and uh, another one which can be freer and uh, can make personal decisions. The amount of lines that I have to use, of the electronics, uh, that helps a lot with the render part of it. New York, I like to say that it's my practical, logical way of working. So thank you very much for, for coming and uh, I hope you enjoyed the evening as much as I did. Good night.